In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a simple plugin that will save the headache of not receiving emails from your contact form 7 submissions. It actually stores the submissions right in your database. You can view them right in your WordPress site, which is pretty cool. And we're getting started right now. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress. You can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when we publish more awesome tutorials for you. And with that out of the way, let's install this plugin and start saving our contact form submissions right in our database. I'll see you in the screen capture. To get started, the first thing we have to do is install a Flamingo plugin. So we're here in the dashboard. We're going to hover over plugins on the right and then click on add new. In the search bar, I'm going to type in Flamingo then hit enter. And it's his very first one up at the top. It's made by uh, Takayuki, who's actually the same guy who developed Contact Form 7. And as you know, this is a Contact Form specific plugin. And it's got 100,000 active installs, compatible with the latest version of WordPress. So it all looks pretty good to go. I'm going to click on Install Now. Uh, that said, you should back up your site files and your database before you install any new plugins. This is my demo site, so I don't really care if stuff breaks. I'm not going to back up every time I install a plugin because I do new plugins every other hour, so I'm not going to back up my site that much. Uh, but make sure you do your backups before you install new plugins. So when you're ready, click on Install Now, then click on Activate. Now the Flamingo plugin is installed and activated, and we have a new menu item on the right called Flamingo. If we click on that, and this first page it loads a database of all the email addresses for all the users on the site. There's a bunch of my users, and there's a bunch of people who have randomly subscribed as subscribers to the site. They're not getting many emails because nothing really that happens on the public facing end of this site, but they're in there anyway. Now what we're actually here for is the inbound messages section. So if we click on there, it will currently be empty because we don't have any inbound messages, but I'm going to fill out a form that I already have created. This is just the basic contact form seven form, really simple as you're going to see in just a second. We're going to fill that out and then see what happens on that inbound messages page. Click on send. You got a message saying, thank you for your message, it has been sent. So if we have it set up to receive an email, we're going to receive that email shortly. But we also have it, if we refresh the inbound messages page, where the message is put right into here. This is where the great benefit of this plugin comes in. There is no separation between someone submitting the form and it showing up on your website. So A, it appears instantly. B, if your email functionality on the server isn't working for some reason, you're not going to receive that email. And if that was an important email from a prospective client, it's a bad thing to not get that email, but it would show up in here. And there's a lot of people who have certain hosts and those host settings don't even allow them to send emails from that host. But now you can still have a contact form and be able to collect submissions from that form and have it appear right in WordPress. And the last great feature is that these messages are searchable. So if you have say a thousand messages in here, you can use the search bar up here to search for messages and you can use filters and then you can do all kinds of stuff with these messages as well. If you click on edit right here, you will see the full submission and you're gonna to have to copy their email address from here and send it from your email client, which is a better situation than sending it from WordPress itself. Just because in your email client, that's where you work on email. Having this plugin is a great way to make sure that you get all the information that you're supposed to get. As far as I know, this plugin only stores email that are sent through Contact Form 7 forms, but it will store all the emails from any Contact Form 7 form on your website. Even if you have 100 forms, it's going to store all the data for you, but it won't store data from other forms. This is a quick example. I just tried this with Caldera Forms just as a test, and it did not store the submission from Caldera Forms. I haven't tried any other form builders, but I'm pretty sure that it wouldn't store them. It would be a fluke if it did, but maybe it does. I'm not totally sure. So that's how easy it is to install this plugin, activate it, and get it working. And the great part is, is the peace of mind knowing that you're not losing or not missing out on contacts who are trying to email you, but for whatever reason, your server has an email hiccup or your website is down that one second where they hit submit, which believe me, it happens, and it can be very annoying. Now. You're saved from all that because the submissions go right into your database. It's pretty cool. If you haven't done so yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, then hit the bell notification icon so you're notified when I publish more awesome tutorials for you. And next up is clicking one of these videos on the right hand side. 
and learning more awesome WordPress stuff. And until next time, keep crushing with WordPress and I will see you in the next video.